Hello, welcome to Just Bird Throw, and I am on episode 9, or part 9, of my deck collection, what stays, what goes, it's spring, what's going to be a thing, what's going to be a fling, and um, this is going to go, the Millennial Tarot. It's a major arcana deck. I'm it's just going to go. I'm not going to fuss with this. I have, I'm have, i so overwhelmed at this point. <laughs> Let me just share. Um, but you can find the deck or whatever on Etsy. It's, I think they made a full one from what I saw. Uh, the Millennial Tarot is now a full version. But this, uh, you know, I read with it for a day on live. It was fun. It was quirky. You know, that's it. So it's going to go because it's it's not going to be utilized, as is the Art Nuevo Tarot. It's beautiful, lovely. However, it's too small, um, the imagery, for, for me to see. And, you know, it's, it's a whole thing. Like, if it doesn't feel good in the hands, if it doesn't, if I can't visually see things, like it better be in Braille or something, what am I to do, right? So I struggle with those areas. However, this is really uh, d disgusting to me of how much um, grossness I have uh, accumulated over, you know, some time. And like... I haven't been a part of the community, of the tarot community. I quit a couple years ago, and after, like, listening to some videos last night, I'm, like, halfway there again. It just seems like there's drama, and I don't get it. Like, why? Why? Don't we catch enough, like, enough from people, and I'm going to keep calling them out and I know this is my thing and I'll get better with it because I consider myself a Christian. However, Christian folks seem to think that it's just okay to walk into your house unprovoked and attack you and call you wicked, evil, vile, the satanic, you know, all of this, um, all of these untruths and is you're a witch <laughs> you know you watch too much television i'd see say television but i think you just watch too much youtube you know and this god that you are pretending to you're pretending that this god knows you but according to the word he doesn't because ma'am um, at Miss L. Martine, you're supposed to flee from evil, right? If I, I'm evil and I'm doing wickedness, you're not supposed to click on it, stay and engage in it and be entertained by it. You're supposed to flee. So, L. Martine, I know you're here, darling. Flee. <laughs> um... The Sacred Rose Tarot, I actually like this deck. However, it's going to go, I, I believe. It's the purpley. Can we please focus? Focus! Automatic focus! I'm trying to focus myself, dear camera. I get distracted. I can't stand this community. It's like you're not welcome anywhere. The Christian community doesn't believe that I'm Christian and I'm because you're wicked and you're doing evil. And this community doesn't seem to appreciate Jesus or you're not allowed to be a Christian and and read cards. So it's kind of like, you know, the redheaded stepchild, the, the, I don't know, whatever. Just can't seem to be accepted for who you are or your belief system. And... I have n never just walked into anyone's home or anywhere in a public platform and attacked someone for their faith, even if it's ridiculousness. Listen, I went to church, and there's a lot of ridiculous churches. I mean, oh my goodness. 
Um, this deck is gonna go, but I, I want to, I want to keep it. Like I, I really would like to, but uh, I'm, I'm not going to. Look how fierce that King of Wands is. Like, wow. You know. So this is gonna, this is just gonna go because it's not going to be utilized. And it, and it hasn't been. I may have done two readings total with, it's so, I'm so disgusted with myself. It's not really the Christians that I'm upset with today. It's really myself. But attack me and I'm going to attack you back today because I'm disgusted with myself. Folks, I'm really just utterly disgusted, but I forgive myself, you know. I know why I, I, I started this, um, you know, deck obsession, compulsion, that's what it is. It's a, it is um, addiction. When you get that little nudge in your belly because like, oh, you're so excited and you click and then you're nervous because the package is going to arrive and then you open it up and it's like, hmm. And uh, there it goes. You do your little flip through and one read and it goes and it sits on a shelf. How mindless. However, let me just be honest. During the time that I started like really just purchasing, purchasing, I was truly just trying to fill a void in my life. And I knew it at the time that I was doing it because there wasn't anything going on. Um, like situational but I knew what I was doing and I it was like it was it was that or something that was really detrimental to me right and so I just I threw myself into making review videos horrible videos at that like that just bad you know you think this is bad and the with the camera and me and no, it was way worse. Now, this was a gift from Be Loving Crystals. And this is going to have to be rehomed. I don't connect with it. It's kind of a collage There is a little booklet here. Um, the Fro Grand Duchess Tarot uh, on Amazon. Her little white booklet there. Okay. Cardstock's not bad either. And I like it because it's green, right? But um, I'm going to pass it on. It has like typed um, print, like an old typewriter, you know, typed up. So it's really kind of cool. But is it going to get used? Am I, am I going to appreciate it? No. I'm not. It just needs to get rehomed to someone who can appreciate it. And I'm really considering like what to do with these decks, um, especially indie decks and decks that I've, you know, that I have cut or um, edged because they won't be, if they're mass market, they won't be accepted, you know, accepted because they're not in good condition. You know, if you cut your cards, they're not in good condition for resale. And um, so though, like what, what to do with those, I can just donate those to the Goodwill or, but indie decks and stuff, what do I do with them? Um, I could sell them some, even some of the, uh, the decks are that I have are just you know the price of the value of the deck has suddenly you know skyrocketed because people are no longer I guess making the the decks now those I would just like to home however I am not like in a position to gift um like the shipping and all of that because like, I have a number of decks but Maybe once a month I can send one to someone and I'll ask for like 
suggestion if you know someone because there's certain decks that I just would like to go to the right person. Um, this one I'm going to keep. This is the the Robin Wood. I'm going to keep this one. I've always just like this deck, you know. <laughs> I've, yeah, see, I always like this deck. So this is one that is staying. What I'm going to do, though, <coughs> with this deck is I'm going to probably rehouse it um, after this whole process is complete. I love green is my favorite color. Um, it doesn't really matter the shade. I will sport army green, puke green, you know, baby poop green. Doesn't matter. Green, green, green. Love it love it want some more of it i think the aquarium tarot will probably stay with me too um just because i bought this used off of amazon um uh, inspected and i didn't pay much you know a couple bucks before the, the um, tarot community became over, not, I'm not gonna say it's overly saturated, that's ridiculous, but um, so saturated, uh, such a saturated market from, compared to where it was 10 years ago. It, uh, decks, you used to be able to pick up decks for a couple of dollars, the resale, you know. Um, Doreen Virtue's decks. I bought a box of Hay House decks from somebody on a lot at um, on eBay, and I paid like thirty dollars for um, the decks, and then the the cost of the shipping. And back that was back before she left the community or whatever. But I'm just saying, like, it's ridiculous. I, I wouldn't. I don't know people charging an outrageous amount of money for Doreen Virtue decks. Do people really care that much to have that deck for why? Because she was a pioneer, do you think it's going to increase in value? I don't know. There's too much out there. At, at one point maybe vintage decks um, did increase in value, but I don't know. I love the backing of this of these cards. And I like the cardstock. It's very good for my hand. Um, again, just the weight of the deck. So this is a keeper for me. Um, there's something just about... I, I love the color palette. It's, you know, soft, subtle. And it's not like, you know, at, like I uh, the Morgan Greer. I've said you know i that was my pack along i think this one will probably this one the gill or you know the parrot i like i like the parrot because i don't know you know and it seems like i have these decks that i spent way too much money on like you know to fix a feeling or an emptiness inside a loneliness and i just didn't i said it yesterday I don't know what number video I'm just going to continue my venting of frustrations and concerns they're all for myself okay um, and when I'm speaking I'm really I'm just speaking about me who wow like such a beautiful I <laughs> Like, I was twisted up when I was pregnant with my third child. I thought I was going to have a girl, and I was going to name her um, Maya. But I was struggling over, do I call her Maya Angelo, or do I call her Luna Moon? And, like, I didn't have a girl, so I, I got an Angelo. <laughs> you know, I, a definite earth angel that's for certain so this deck is i'm i'm keeping and that's the aquarian tarot which i'm i know everyone's familiar but you know who's not familiar this gal who's been housing these decks in 
this box that I have here is like a, it's got teddy bears all over it. It's like a children's box probably for toys. It's a chest and it's for tarot. Now if I could scale down my decks to being able to fit all of my decks into this with a little extra space to spare, I would be so proud of myself. So this one I'm keeping. I'm not going to do the everything must go. Now trust me, I, I thought about it. <laughs> like, F this, YouTube videos, all of it. Like, just tarot. Just out of sight, out of mind. Just dump all of it. And who cares? You know, like, who cares? It's like, money and stuff like that. I'm, it's not the money. I, it's the mindset. And I just hope to not be there um, any time in the near future or personally ever again. I don't, I don't want to be in that state of loneliness, sadness, emptiness that I'm trying to fill it, you know, because I feel, I, when I try to fill a void, you know, it's usually alcohol, rugs, magic carpet rides, if you know what I'm saying. Things like that. <laughs> Negative things. And, you know, I don't do those things anymore, so it's like I threw myself into um, spending became the new, you know, bad habit. One, you know, just kind of one for another. The Crow Tarot. I'd love to say that I'm going to keep this, but I'm not going to keep it. It still smells like the glue. I couldn't, um, I couldn't get past the glue initially, but I don't know. I, I really like this deck, but here's the thing. I don't think it likes me back. <laughs> like. I don't know. I really liked it. I remember I really just was like wanted this. I even considered the um, the journal, but when I went for the journal, she didn't have any available. Blah, blah, blah. You know, the whole thing. Like what a beautiful, beautiful card. But it's it's got to go. That's all. It's just got to go. And what a beautiful job MJ did. But it's got it. It's it, you got to move out, crow. Crow crow go to row. All right, golden to row. Another one that I hate to see leave, but it's going to go. Everybody knows the imagery. It is a beautiful deck and all of that. But, um, I'm going to keep the Byzantine. So, I'm going to get rid of the Golden. This is an uncertain. <laughs> if you see, now I just, I put the eight coins back. I put, in, and I have Jamie Sawyer, Sawyer's Path. But this is different, right? this one however the card stacks like cardboardy and since I have two I don't know two others this I just really like this art right it's so crisp however before I choose this one I always will take a different one because of the cardstock but as far as visibility and for the eye this one wins let me just give it a shuffle yeah see oh see it shuffles fine you know what? I'm gonna hang on to it because it, why why settle you know if this is what I'm drawn to then that's what I should keep instead of I'm gonna keep this one. I really, I really love this. And when I shuffled it, even though I don't like the feel of, like, eh, when I shuffle it, 
it feels fine. <laughs> like, and even now it feels fine. I think it's one of those card stocks that is misleading me in the beginning. And I don't like that because I have literally picked up a card and put it down because of initial you know feelings thoughts feelings <laughs> feelings look how lovely that is yeah uh, this one's staying i thought this this entire box was just gonna be go 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 no 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 bye 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 who's saying that some some boy some boy band bye 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 or is it a girl i don't know whatever this one's staying. Jane Austen. She reads really well. And I had my moment with her. Yes, I did. But do I really want to keep Man, why do I keep saying things like that? Do I really want to keep it? This, I really do, but do I am I going to this is going to be one I think that I am going to I think I'm going to keep this one it's romantical and dreamy and it's you know it's my size I don't like the backings but who cares right um yeah I thought I was getting rid of you, but the sun comes up again, right? And so that's a big old yes. Where's the you got? You get to stay. Oh, you get to stay. I if all of them didn't give me anxiety, <laughs> I would keep everything. But okay, the modern witch is a no. It's got to go. The Lover's Path. No. It's got to go. I'm running out of room to put the, the you got to go. Um, the Chakra Insight Oracle. I do enjoy this. I think I'm going to keep this one because... I trimmed it. Is this the one? No, this isn't the one. This is, maybe it is. I don't know. One of them. I have similar, you know what? This is like a no. I just don't even feel it, not even feeling it in my hands. Like, so I'm going to say no. Um, no. It's funny how things change, you know, but it's just a no. I'll, I'll donate this one to, you know, Goodwill or, yeah, Goodwill. All the other places where I live for donations as far as books are concerned. It's Mennonite and Christian based. Um, so I won't be donating to them because that's rude, <laughs> right? I think that's rude. Okay, the Guardian Tarot. You gotta go. I can't see this for nothing. <laughs> like, um, but when, oh geez, years ago when I got it, <laughs> we had a thing and I really enjoyed it, you know, because I do enjoy this type of imagery, you know. Uh, however, it's going to go because I never pull for it anymore. You know, and somebody else, I, there's plenty of people that do enjoy this and could embrace it. And if you have little hands, it really is great. And I love, again, the aesthetic, the pastel -y. And look at, it's pastel -y, but don't be fooled. That's creepy, folks. <laughs> like, ooh, girly things. Yeah, creepy. Guardians looking creepy i love it i love it i want two more of it come on now yes all right this deck will tell you the truth um all right so it's it's a no for me though oh my goodness 
Okay, the new era elements. Again, another deck that I, I sincerely had some time with. And we may be spending some time again. Let me just take a look because I don't know because they, it's like it's small, but I am kind of struggling with You know what I'm going to do? See, yeah, I just, I love this. So I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it, at least till the end. And when I go through the final purge, <laughs> right? The final purge. Cause I know that I'm just like, oh, I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it. And then I'm gonna look at my, what I say I'm keeping and there's no way I'm going to look and I'm going to say there's no way I can keep all of this. There's just no way. I that like it makes no sense to keep all of it. Oh, the golden wheel, another one. See, a beautiful. I love the backings. A beautiful deck. And I think this is uh Let me just see. Um, it's pretty, but I think it's a no. I really enjoyed this deck though. It's so pretty. And it does invoke, you know, emotion. But I believe our time has come. Beautiful. It's weird. It's like, you know, other content creators that I used to collab with, um, with the exception of V Love and Crystals, are no longer like on YouTube, I don't think. Or their well, their their channels are still there, but they haven't uploaded. I think maybe after um, pandemic, people may have maybe their workflow had increased or something, where they um, didn't, you know, have any more time. This is a no for me. I definitely don't like this card stock, but I appreciated the price point on it on this essential oils deck purifies and alleviates overwhelming feelings geez you know i put this in my hands oh i, I shouldn't have i'm gonna put it to the side and i'll decide at the end it'll depend on how many i'm keeping but it it'll be reviewed Spirit Song. This was a gift and a deck that I just, I don't connect with it. It's weird that it says that and then a deer shows up, right? Like <laughs> the Queen of Acorns. Yeah, the earth energy shows up there and I love deer. They're, you know, a part of my natural environment. Man, was it just the timing of this deck that I couldn't get over? I'm going to I'm going to try this. I am. I'm going to try this cuz I've never I haven't ever read with this. Ever. Like cuz I was like, "Oh, but now that I'm seeing all of the this yeah, I'm going to keep this." And do a couple of readings and journal about it and see how I feel. So this one, since I've never worked with it and it's green and thank you for the gift to the person. Um, I believe I'm keeping it. <laughs> All right, now. All right, I've seen on TV the Miss Cleo's Tarot Power Deck. 
it's actually not a bad deck. You know, it's Egyptian style. Uh, and of course I had to have it because it's Miss Cleo. But quite frankly, this deck is, um, it's not a bad, it's great for, I picked this up on, on Amazon. It was less than $5 when I bought it. It was like the weirdest thing, like Ms. Cleo's decks were $4.99 and then you could buy them in bulk. Like somebody must have been sitting on a bunch of Ms. Cleo's decks because they're in the hard box and everything. So they must have just been sitting on them and decided to pump them out and get rid of them, get up off of them. And they were selling them in bulk and for very, very cheap not disappointed at all in this deck and I know the Ms. Cleo and her reputation people may not want to read with Ms. Cleo's deck but it reads really well and the card stock for five bucks I am definitely not complaining who published this Radar Communications in 2001. <laughs> Miss Cleo. You know what? Um, I'm going to sit on it. I'm going to see. I'll sit on it and at the end of the end of this we'll see. Um, the new chapter. Um, this is a go. This is a no for me. brand new. I've never read with it. I I don't even know if I've shuffled. Yeah, I've shuffled it. And it's small and everything, but it doesn't really do anything for me. I do like her breastplate, though. Man, am I just being so judgmental? Because have I spent a moment of any time with this deck? Another one. I haven't spent any time with this. So instead of just saying, you gotta go, um, I'm gonna put this aside. I really like that. I don't even think I've um, taken a good gander at this deck at all. I probably opened it up, did, did this. You know, flip, 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 and didn't even look at any of the imagery, spend any time to see. So, and when I look at these backings, I'm now I'm like intrigued. I didn't even know. Like, so, oh, I thought you were going to go. I'm keeping it. I, I feel like a spoiled brat. However, I do know myself really well, and if I'm conflicted over it now, I'll end up like purchasing it later, even even if it's a second purchase, just to put it back on the shelf, right? <laughs> like, I've got to create more anxiety for myself, uh, but it's staying. <laughs> Whatever. I'm, uh, there's too many here that I... I really didn't think I was keeping it. See, I shouldn't have opened them. If I wouldn't have opened them and not, like, looked at them, I'd be fine. Just like, no, no, no. You gotta go, go, go. So, who, th these two do have to go. I know for a fact. I can't um, see the cards. They're too small. I'm not gonna um, go through them. They're low scarvale. And it haven't really been read with. This one hasn't been read with at all. This one was gone through, and I think I did a couple of readings, but not like they're not really used, folks. This is like somebody opened the book and broke, like, and spent the day with it at Barnes and Nobles, and then put it back on the shelf. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, uh, which Barnes and Nobles, you know, they they 
take decks, you know, you purchase a deck and it's not new. So these two are, they're a no. They gotta go. Okay, Miss Cleo, I feel stupid. I'm gonna keep it anyway. Because <laughs> I'm looking at the golden tarot like, oh, really, you're gonna take Miss Cleo's deck over like the golden tarot? And I'm gonna say, yeah. The urban tarot, another one that I've never read with. Um, Unless it was like the day that I did the unboxing. I, you know, I like the backings. Hmm. Just another one that I... Debauchery, huh? Oh, yeah. I think I think it's gonna be a no. This is a no. Um, and and I'm sorry. It's sorrow, right? It says sorrow. I'm sorry to see you go, but it's a no. It really um, too big for my hands. Like for a comfortable shuffle. However, it shuffles really well, even for my tiny hands. I'm surprised. I'm surprised at a lot of things. Like, why in the world did I not work with these cards? Because now that I'm feeling this, this is the perfect card stock that I would like um, in my hands. <clears throat> my goodness. I wish that all the larger decks were like that instead of this stiff, you know, this stiff. So I'm going to say this is a no. It's got to go. And I'll end it with the tarot, whatever this is. It's the dark grimoire. take a look see this is a dark deck it's really cool I don't know if this is a knockoff I had to tape the bottom but I don't think so I'm just looking at the box I don't think it's a knockoff no no I have a, another one that's dark that um, I believe is a knockoff see this one's really cool but will I ever reach for it again man no this is just like kind of like bringing back memories and but no I I want to look at that look can you see the smile on the demon's face oh man yeah I'd say um My goodness. How beautiful, right? Uh, all right, I'm going to I'm going to keep it. <laughs> it was going to go, but I'm going to keep it until the end just to see how many I have. Because this is a, a possible. Let's keep it till the end. Decide later. And I'll end this video here since it's uh, 30, 40 minutes. Thank you so much for being here. If you've made it this far with me, please consider to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Bye.